we got a cool project we're about to do a quick tour of the frame so stay tuned right now this one has a suspended mezzanine okay and it's engineered pmb which is basically a uh, pre-engineered metal building <laughs> Welcome back, Pack. This is Adbil from Wolf Steel Buildings. Stay tuned. We're gonna walk this building. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We got the full walkthrough. We still got about we got about a week more. So stay tuned for that. Let's get this one going. Alrighty, guys. So what we got here is a 34 wide. 44 foot long okay and it's specific on the size because we're trying to maximize the space there was a little bit of restrictions in this property to how big you can build okay so it went through a lot of planning a lot of permitting process everything here is engineered so one of the differences between this type of structure which is a pre-engineered metal building a bolt up building uh, is another name for it is that this is already pre-engineered okay so you can see a lot everything is put together through bolts okay so that's that's a little bit different than a welder building a welder building is basically it's it's not engineered it's really built more to the standards of the builder unless you actually have engineer plans behind it okay but in order to do this building it took a little while and i'm going to show you guys something cool we got a suspended me mezzanine and i'm going to explain because we're going to walk through a little bit but I'm gonna explain what we're gonna do. That way, when if you watch the next part of this video, it's gonna be already finished and it's gonna look amazing. So come on this way, uh, Eric. So right here, we're gonna have two doors, okay? So what we have here is we got a 12 by eight. This one on the other side, we have a 12 by 14. It's because here we, we're gonna have that, that mezzanine yeah. that's going all the way from the front all the way to the back. So that mezzanine is, it, you know, it won't, doesn't allow for the overhead to be bigger. So you'll see it in the finished project. As I mentioned, this slab was, it was uh, engineered. So it did have the soil test. Uh, so we came in, we tested the soil, what kind of soils, and then the slab was designed by our engineers too. And that's, and that's what we built here. We did run into a little hiccup. Let me show you guys. So um, here in the notch detail for this specific plan, uh, we did not do, we did not, you know, we left it hanging here. So, but this is an easy fix. Uh, we're gonna put a, a plate there to transfer the weight and then uh, put grout. Um, and so it's just an easy fix. One of the cool things with working with us is again, we do the full project. So we deal with our hiccups, which can happen in construction. But overall, everything's still turning out really good. Now, the reason why we have a suspended mezzanine that's just going all the way from start, from front to back, is because our client couldn't build any bigger, okay? So he's like, okay, so how can I get more space? Because I need more storage space. And so he's like, okay, well, if I can only build this amount of space on, on the ground, he's gonna be building this mezzanine so he can get the space above okay and uh, that's the reason why now in order to do a suspended mezzanine that's going to be happening here we had to get this engineered that's just a safer peace of mind way of building with an engineered building if you are building with the uh for like a barn dominium or a commercial we focus on getting it engineered to make sure it's a peace of mind for everyone and uh um, that's just a, a better way to go yeah thank you for that abdul uh, I do want to mention, uh, hopefully on screen, you can see the architectural plans of what this building will be here in a couple of weeks. Uh, I know Abdul did mention we're going to have three overhead doors, one, one in, in the, the back. back. Over there. We'll have a drive through option here and then we'll have the big, uh, this was a 12 by 14, a 12 by 14 right here. And then you can see from here the two foot overhang, right, Abdul? Yeah, so we're gonna have a two foot overhang all the way around. If you're looking at the drone shots, you can see how it's all designed. It's very similar to how we do our weld ups as well. Uh, we basically put a piece of 
uh, I-beam on the top to extend and then connect it to the main structure. So it's the same structure here when it comes down to this pre-engineered uh, metal building. So it's gonna have that two foot overhang. We got a, a tannish color. Uh, I can't remember what the color of the trim is, but I believe it's white if I'm looking at the architectural plan. Yes, it's white. It's white. So guys, don't forget to stay tuned because we're gonna be doing a full walkthrough of this finished project with that messing in here. It's gonna be spectacular. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next one.